Welcome back. In our last video, we learned about matter. What matter is? Matter is any substance that occupies some space and is made up of atoms. In this particular video, we will learn more about how big an atom is and also we will learn the different forms of matter or the different types of matter or the different states of matter. Now, an atom is an extremely small particle. These atoms can be considered as building blocks of any substance. Yet the chair around you is made up of atoms and everything just around you is made up of atoms. Water is made up of atoms. All liquids that you drink, all solids that you have around you, all the gases are made up of atoms. Now, how small an atom is? Now in the image, I have got five paper pins. So I've got one, two, three, four and five paper pins. And this top here is known as a pin head. In a pin head, how many atoms can be fit? A five million million atoms can be fit in the head of the pin. And how many zeros are there? Let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are like twelve zeros in it. And we have got like five million million atoms present in just a pin head. So I hope now you can imagine how small an atom is. All the matter is made up of atoms. Now we'll move forward and we will learn about the different states of matter. All the matter around you is found in three states. And the first state is known as the solid state of matter. The second is the liquid state. And the third is the gaseous or the gaseous state or the gas form or the state of matter. So there are these three states of matters. Now, how are these three states of matter different from each other? Remember, all matter is made up of atoms. Now, in solids, I've drawn an image of atoms present in a solid. The atoms in a solid are tightly packed. They're extremely close to each other. They are so tightly packed to each other that they do not have space, much space to move around. In liquids, the atoms, let us look at liquids now. The atoms of liquids are slightly further away from each other. There is, they are still close to each other, but not extremely tightly packed. They have some space to move around. And in gases, the atoms are very far away from each other. There is a lot of space between atoms or particles in gases. So, this is the first difference between the solid state, liquid state and the gaseous state of matter. We call this packing. In solids, the atoms are tightly packed. In liquids, the atoms are slightly loosely packed. There is space between them. And in gases, the atoms are very loosely packed. There is a lot of space between the atoms. The second property or the second difference between the three states of matter is the motion of particles. In solids, the atoms do not have space to move around, but they all have some kind of energy in them. And that's why they are always vibrating. So in solids, the atoms cannot move freely, but they are simply vibrating and striking each other in a very tiny space. In liquids, there is a certain amount of space between the atoms in a liquid. And that's why these atoms can move slightly freely in different directions. During this movement, these atoms also collide with each other and exchange energies. And if we look at gases, the motion in gases is extremely rapid and these atoms or the particles uh, in the gas can move freely in all the directions. There is a lot of space. The third difference between solid, liquid and gas is the shape that they have. Now solids have a definite shape. When I say a definite shape, think of any solid around you. A chair looks like a chair. It has a particular shape. If you look at a bed, a bed looks like two large cuboids joined together. A football is spherical. These are all solids. If you look at a rock, it will have a specific shape, right? So a bulb has a specific shape. A rod is a cylinder. It has a cylindrical shape. So solids have a definite shape. But if we look at liquids and gases, they do not have a particular shape. Think about water. What is the shape of water? The water, if you put it, put water in a bucket, it will take the shape of the bucket. If you put water inside a balloon, it will take the shape of the balloon. If you put water, uh, let us say in the palm of your hand, it will take the shape of palm of your hand. Same is the case with gases. If you put a gas 
inside a flask, it will take the shape of a flask. If you put a gas inside the balloon, it will take the shape of the balloon. If you put a gas inside a bottle, it will take the shape of a bottle. So the third difference between solids, liquids and gases is that solids have a definite shape. Whereas liquids and gases do not have a definite shape, they take the shape of the object in which they are put. And I hope you've understood the, about the three states of matter and the difference between these three states of matter. Thank you.